Hey, what's going on Dev? Welcome back to App Dev Made Easy. Today is a very special episode. People ask me on social media and I decide to answer by creating a video on using GitHub with Visual Studio Code. And stick to the end of this video because you will learn the easy way of initializing Ripple, rename branch, stage and committing files, creating new branch, managing it, and how to publish it to GitHub with one click. It's all about how to keep track of your code and files over time. And in the end, there is a bonus that will make you work like a pro. Let's get started. Okay, Devin, now let's create our repository by opening a folder. There is a file in it, okay? Let's go to explore and show you the index.html. But you are going to focus our time on the source control. Okay, let me click here and initialize repo. And as you can see, we have this U, meaning it's a tract. Okay, and also the branch that we are in right now, the master. This U here, meaning that's new or untracked. Okay. So we have initialized our repo. Another thing we can do is we can rename this one. Right now we are in the master. Click here and let's create, for example, a new branch. Let's say we want to fix uh, bugs. OK, and but we don't want that. So let's put it back to its original name. OK, it's going to be the main. And you see how simple it is initialize and rename a branch. The next step here is going to be to stage our attractive file. OK, this is going to be quite simple. As you can see, we have this plus sign here. We just click on this one and uh, the letter change from U to A. OK, A meaning added. OK, it was added to the repo and we are going to uh, have our first commit telling what we just did like we fixed the book that did something and yeah that's simple now let's say that you want to create a new change okay you have new feature and you're not sure if you're gonna add that or not to your master you come here and say new features okay as you can see we can see the name has changed from master to new changes to new features okay and let's add here two more lines of code okay new stuff you can see here on the gutter this green okay green line meaning that we add something and let's add the second one and say more stuff okay notes that in the index you see the letter M meaning that was modified. Okay, we are doing some changes. Let's delete those two lines of code here. And you have a reddish color here, meaning that we just delete something. Okay, and it's important to note that you are doing that in the another branch. Okay, the new feature, not in the master. And after we finish it, we have the option to stage this one, to discard changes and open files. OK, and we have also this number here, show the change that we did. If you have a big project and you have done some changes, you need a diff. And in this case, VS Code brings it in, OK? You can see side by side or this way in line. I prefer this one. You can see the lines that we just deleted and those one that we added. OK. Let's say that you was very inspired and you create a very nice feature. OK, you like that. You love that. So you click here. It's on stage. OK. And let's commit and say what you just did. In this case, add a new feature, a incredible new feature. OK, and you like that and let's commit it. OK, later on, I'm going to teach you how to mesh both of them. 
But if you go back to our master, you're gonna see that our code is intact, okay? We are gonna decide later on if you want to add or not, if you want to match or not with this new feature, okay? I'm gonna show you, that's quite simple, quite simple to do, okay? And you can do that with just a couple of clicks. Let me know, guys, if you want also learn how to do that in the terminal using command line, okay? As you can see, we are now in the main, in the master branch, okay? And let's say that we want to merge them. Let's say that you love that one and you can merge both of them, okay? So let's click here and look for the, the new feature. We click on that and we have both of them. As you can see, we are in the master. We have those two lines of codes and that is two lines are missing, okay? And now let's publish that to our GitHub, okay? That's the way to show our work to the world and the recruiters and uh, employers are looking for us. Uh, they will be there, okay? At our GitHub looking for our codes, all right? Let me give permission. Let's open it here again. And now you're gonna say if this is a private or public repository, okay? In my case is public. I click here and yeah, it's done. Please allow me to show you. This is my repo and Robson Muniz and you just create this one using GitHub with Visual Studio Code. Let me open this one here. And as you can see, is the same code the code we just created okay so it's that simple and now let's have that cool bonus i told you in the beginning okay let's clone anything you want from github okay i just pick a project of mine and let's come here git clone let's paste the url in here okay and let's pick a folder and now let's open it let's open it in our vs code okay it's asking here if i want to open i say yes and as you can see we have everything here our index okay let me zoom in yeah it's all here our javascript and it works like a shot okay this is amazing you can do a lot of things and learn a lot with this. That's all for today, guys. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.